Okay, so welcome back guys. I'm going to dive into another one of my hobbies that I do have, which is buying and fixing and selling arcade machines. As you can see, I have quite a few just hanging out in my garage. The Moonwalker here is actually my personal one, which I'm never going to sell because I've been wanting them forever. Thanks to Brower. He definitely hooked me up on finding the cab, which he had it, and then a couple other people found me other parts. It's really awesome. But today, the thing we're going to be playing, which I will film along the way, is this one. Bought it completely sight unseen, other than a couple pictures from a friend of mine, Jen, which was, it was really cheap, so I don't care. So we're going to check it out and let's take a look. It's not too bad. We got, you know, it's a little dark in here. I do apologize. But it has the marquee. Control panel is here. The monitor is there. It's missing the main glass, but... I can find that later but so she said you plug it in and nothing happens so we'll, we'll hook that up here in a second we have the key I haven't looked inside it yet so let's just try the magical plug here and see what happens if anything lights up or explodes we'll see plugs up let's see well we have the marquee lit up well, that's a sign of uh, some kind of life uh, monitor is actually on. We got a little bit of raster, so and I see it says 1943 upside down. It's probably burning. I'm not quite sure. I don't hear anything. So nothing's alive up here. So I'm gonna click the switch and see if anything. Nothing's on. The monitor is on, but it's probably just burn. So let's just take a look inside. See what's going on in there. Let's see panel and that's nasty what we got here we got some lovely rat poop so this happens a lot with arcades especially that sit and as you can see they've eaten some stuff and yeah kind of nasty definitely have to clean up in here and get rid of the smell um but yeah there's a board we do a pcb that's there monitor is on as we see a little dusty dirty Nothing too crazy, but we will definitely dive into cleaning this first before I do any more diagnosis. So just bear with me and I will have another video up soon. Okay, so here we are back in the garage. Gonna work on the arcade machine a little bit more today. I did show you guys before how nasty the bottom is. It looks like we had a, a rat infestation. Infestion, infestation, there we go, right word. And there's a lot of poop, things, particles, and everything. What we're gonna do before we do any more testing which i'm pretty sure the power supply is bad because the board's not firing up which you have board here um we're gonna pull all this crap out and we got a free spider check him out he's like bouncing around right here spider vision we'll get him out too but first highly recommend if you're doing this because you know it is animal species feces this lovely tasty stuff wear some gloves basic just to clean it out and then we'll vacuum out what i can't get to so we're gonna get start pulling some of this out. So we do have, looks like it was the owner's manual that they ate it. So that's going in the trash. But after this, just throw this in the trash real quick. Um, after this, I will show another video as soon as I get most of this cleaned out. And then we can start um, testing the power supply just for voltages, which I recommend for that, a very basic voltmeter, Harbor Freight, you know, eBay, eBay, you know, Tastic from China, whatever works. There's something you can at least test voltages with so we can see if it is bad. But we'll go from there and I'll be right back when this is cleaned out and we can do some testing. All right, so you guys are lucky. We don't have smell of it because that was pretty brutal. But now it's a lot cleaner in here so we can deal with doing some um, troubleshooting, see what's going on. So first what I'm gonna do is unplug PCB. So we'll leave that off. And then we're gonna put power to it again. And let's see what the power supply is doing. If it's doing anything. So let's see. And the best way to check, you know, just put your multimeter here on DC. That's what this would be running off of. And your power supply here, if you look real close, it might be hard to see with the camera, but it does show, you know, you got five volts ground, five volts negative. 12 volts AC in. So we'll start with the. See, we got 5 volts here. Let's see. That ground point. 
and nothing. Five volts is showing nothing. Let's go to 12 volts. Also, nothing. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is go over to AC voltage and let's see if we're getting power to the supply. showing negative nothing so we're gonna see where power is coming from and I will be right back see if I can figure that out okay so we are back here I did find out that we did have a blown fuse which so I wasn't getting any power to the power supply for AC but now poke at it I don't blow anything up here you see we have 120 volts to the power supply so that's good still no life though i don't think on the power supply we'll go back and check the five volt terminal just see if we got anything here nothing for the five volts so power supply is bunked but the thing is i did get one off amazon's at hunch so you can just get, you can pretty much pick these up anywhere. So pretty much just a switcher. Nothing fancy here. Just gotta make sure we match all the voltages here. It shows with the ones down there. And on here, there was a sticker that says, you know, for 110 volts or 120 volts to 220. Let's so make sure you switch that. But we'll hook this up here in a moment and let's see if we can get our voltages uh, dialed in and then we'll fire it up and see what happens. So I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, well, we are back here and did get the new power supply fitted. I um, had to make another screw hole because it's a little bit shorter, but good news is the LED is on, so it means we are getting power to it. What we do have to do on these is adjust the five volts to make sure it's not way high. So I'm gonna take a look at that, see where we're at. We do have an extra ground. So let's just see where the five volts is coming in at. Let's see what we got. We're at five, pretty much 508. It's pretty close. I'm gonna try to dial it down maybe to five, but let's see if it fires up with this. I'll be right back. We'll hook up the uh, power, the board, and let's see what happens. So we'll be right back. Well, power is hooked up. We do have our green light still, which is good. Fuse is still high, not blown, and power is going to the board. Let's see if we have anything on the screen. And look at that, it is playing monitor is way out of adjustment let's see if we can do a little bit of focus and some playing with here i don't know if there's adjustments down in the front which i will check no so we gotta do it old school so bear with me here i'm gonna do a little bit of playing with this and i'll be back and we'll see if we can play it see if it's some sound too well i adjusted it a little bit better it is working but i do have some graphical issues you can see it doesn't say 1943 and things are missing at the bottom Let's, I'm gonna see if this thing actually fires up. I don't know yet. Let's see. I got some. See if I get into the. Huh? Coins work. Let's see if it'll. I don't hear anything though. So I'm not sure. So I do have some graphical problems. So I'll probably have to go through the board just to see, like, you know, maybe reseat some ROMs. But at least we got a little bit farther than it was. So I'm gonna play with that here. I'll pull the board out and try to reseat everything. And then I will check back in to see if we have gameplay so all right before when i was explaining i have to take off the chips and reseat so pretty much what you have to do is take off every one of these little guys very gently and then clean them which i use a little emery board just to kind of file it nothing brutal and then make sure 100 percent you know back where they go because if you don't the game won't work so i'm just kind of putting these ones back just to kind of show when you put them back in just be kind of delicate Put your hand under it and give it a nice push down and you're good. I did put them all in order so I remember where they go. Let's see if you can kind of see what we're working with here. And I still have, after this row, I have these three rows, which are, we got, you know, three rows, four, we got 12 more chips. It is a little bit time consuming, but sometimes if it does work afterwards, it is very pleasing like uh, that you get it to work. So we'll see. I'm going to do the last three rows here after I put these in. 
and then we'll uh, see if the game comes back to life. And my gloves will get stuck under there. But yeah, just check back in with me in just a few moments, and then uh, we'll have everything up and running, hopefully. So we'll see. Let's finish up this last row. All right, guys. Well, put the board back in there. Everything seems to be running, but we are still having some graphics issues. Things are missing on the screen. So either the board has more damage that I can't see. I did clean everything. So I'm going to do a little bit more. I'm going to take it out and do a little bit more abuse. Not abusive cleaning, but deeper cleaning, like cleaning the actual connectors and such. There's still stuff missing. But it is playing, but I still don't have any sound or anything either. So... I'm just going to leave off with this one and chime back in for another story another day.